In this video I'm going to show you how you can access files from a Mac computer using a Windows computer. I struggled with this a lot but I finally found the answer to my problem thanks to a user on Reddit and I'm going to show you what the fix was. First of all let's exit out of this because I'm not in my Windows computer. I'm basically on my Mac computer remoting to my Windows computer so that I can show you both screens at the same time. Okay, So basically this is a solution and I'm going to walk you through how to get it fixed. So let's just get to it. The first thing that we need to do is actually start sharing the file. So I'm going to be sharing this folder called screenshots that is in my downloads folder. It's just a few images. So the first thing to start sharing this folder, we need to go to system settings. This might be a little different because I just updated to the latest Mac OS, but if you cannot find the folder sharing just type in the search just look for sharing and you will find it right there um, here in this OS is in general and then you just go to sharing right here the first thing you need to do is file sharing turn that on and to select the folder we're going to click on the I so we're gonna click on that I and then click on this plus sign and then we're gonna find that folder so I'm in my downloads select the folder and then click add all right and then you don't need to really play much with those permissions but yeah so we're basically done there so we're sharing this folder as an smb share okay so now that we're sharing the folder we need to go back to this and actually copy the ip address you might have some numbers you might have just the name of the computer but basically in windows so we'll be typing this slash slash alexandros dash mini dot home and then the name of the folder and that should do it so now, now that we're sharing the folder, let's go back to our Windows computer and let's also bring that picture with the instructions so that we can follow it step by step. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to the control panel, click on the Windows icon, type control, control panel. And then we're going to go to administrative tools, A, it's right here, the first option. Then look for local security policy. Let's Press the L, local security policy, right click, open. Then we're going to look for local policies on the left panel, local policies right here. Just expand this or just click on it. And then security options, double click. So then we're looking for network security. Let's select the list and click on the N so that we can go back to its name, network security, network access, network security. Okay. So network security, land manager authentication level. Let work security, here we go. Network security, land manager authentication level. Let's double click on this. Okay, so now we're gonna select the option that the user shares. So set it to send NTLM v2 response only, basically, like that. So the first time I think, I don't remember what it was, what I had it on, it was like probably that first one, but now we're gonna select this one that the user shared. So that will be send Hold on, send LTMF v2 responses only, send LTMF v2 responses only. So we're gonna click that, click apply, and then click okay. And now we should be good to go basically. Now we're going to map that folder on our Windows computer. So we can right click on this PC, and then we're gonna click on map network drive. And here we're gonna select a letter or just let it select it automatically. It's gonna select one that is available automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. So as you saw earlier, a lot of people might get confused with this. Um, in the Mac thing, they're using forward slashes. As you can see, it's SMB forward slash Alexandros Mini. But in Windows, we're gonna be using backslashes. Backslashes are normally right below the backspace. And if you can't find them, if your keyboard is in English. So we're gonna do, let's just get this on, on the screen. So we're gonna do backslash backslash alexandros dash mini dot home and then another backslash and then the name of the folder that we just mapped which is screenshots screenshots so i would recommend you to select this option connect using different credentials even if you don't have any credentials and uh, then just type in your mac username and mac password like the one that you use to unlock your computer right so it's going to be asking us for those credentials uh, my username is saved there, but if you want to use different credentials, just click use a different account. I'm going to type the same thing. So again, these are my Mac uh, credentials to unlock the computer, basically. So I'm going to click remember credentials and then click OK. And now it is mapped again. I have mapped it before, so that's why you see it there. But the Y was the one that we just mapped right now. So I'm going to click open and we have access to those files. Yay! As you can see, I can just open those screenshots 
And now I can access my files from my Mac computer using my Windows computer, which is amazing. And now I can share all kinds of stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.